we're going to look at the triple square game activity and I just wanted to show y'all a, a way of helping students to discover for themselves the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So what we're trying to have them see is what requirements are involved in order for a triangle to be formed, but it's sort of hidden with the idea of within this game. So they'll read the directions and then within their groups, they'll have the cutout squares, which either they can cut out or you can cut out ahead of time. And color coding here can be very helpful for whenever they're ready to use their solutions. But they'll, they'll be given different sets of squares. And the idea is they need to try to determine which squares will actually form a triangle and then which ones will not, knowing that they can play with the angle as well. So then making observations that side lengths of three, four, and five, whether or not that actually does in fact make a triangle. And things like the longest side being more of a hypotenuse side. So if I wanted to know that this could be a triangle, this side being five would need to be my hypotenuse. So while it looks like I could not make a triangle with that one, if I continue to manipulate them, I actually can. And so it's important that students try multiple formats and multiple setups in order to determine if a triangle can actually be formed or not, paying very careful attention to not overlap or underlap any of their triangle sides. So take a few minutes, look through this activity. I'm not asking you to do all of it, just to read it and to think about how you typically teach the converse of Pythagorean theorem and how this activity might be useful for our students to discover that.